Okay, imagine this. Scientists who specialize in oceanic research wanting to know more about the ocean floor. Maybe get some samples. Um, or just discover something they hadn't seen before. Remotely operated vehicles or RVs, they help solve that problem by teaching not just about the mysteries of the ocean, but also how to build these machines. Sounds complicated, doesn't it? Right? No. Well, for a group of students from Somerset Intermediate School, it's not. As a matter of fact, they're hoping that they have come up with a solution to build an award-winning ROV before they head to Atlanta next weekend for a national competition. And here to tell us more and show us their skills are 14-year-old Rose Dye, she's the faculty and faculty advisor, Patricia Benner. Thank you Thank ladies you. so much for joining us. And of course, us. you brought some other students yeah. here with you. Introduce us to who you have. This is Rose Dyes and Chelsea and Justin and Chase, and they are RC Undersea, the team that won a slot for Atlanta for the national competition for sea perch this year. Congratulations. Oh, okay. So for those who may not know, <coughs> what is an ROV? It's an underwater remote controlled vehicle that NOAA, NASA, the Navy, many folks use to do things that can't be done with humans. So when, if it's too deep, too dangerous, too cold, too warm, right. We send underwater remote control vehicles. And is that what these are right here? These are models of remote control underwater vehicles. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, so what got you guys interested in this? Um, well, my sister done it the first year um, when they first started, which is five years ago. And she's been in it ever since, and this is my third consecutive year. Yeah. Um, I think where she was in it and the um, just how cool it was to see what we can do and create and take it and put it in the water and build everything that you see. And you guys, uh, y you practice a lot with these, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? All right. What, what do you do when you practice? What we do, we take the um, ROV or the sea perch. You test it by putting it in the water, make sure all the motors work, the remotes work, because sometimes they can all be backwards, which Ooh, that's horrible. That's bad. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you're going to actually let us build something here. Yes. All really? right. What are, we, what are we going to do? Do you want to think this through before you show us how to <laughs> play with your toys? Okay. So this is the cable we have, mm -hmm. like this, where right. the motors go on. So that's the control cable? Yes. Okay. Do you know how to strip the wire? I, well, I do, but I probably should do it the way you do it. With these. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Because okay. I was going to do a fingernails. <laughs> oh, no, don't okay, do so, that. So I'll probably cut so the wire off. So you're just going to strip it about right there. Okay, so about a little over an inch? Yep. All right. It's of what, right. just the blue and the white one? Or? or all of them, if you want. All of them, okay. Strip those wires. So what are you, you going to have Lisa do while I'm yeah. working okay. so hard? So these are the motors mm -hmm. that we are going to use. And I see that one's missing. Oh, we're missing a wire. motor already? I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. See, actually, I was, I was trying to <laughs> redo what I got in my truck. Okay, we'll just use these two okay. then. Um, so you are going to hold these. Okay. And so once he's done stripping them, you can tie the caps on. And the way we want them done is that you want to make sure that you put them on this way because then you got to tie a knot underneath them. And if you do it backwards, well, then they're not going to go on. Okay, so he, I, do I hook these wires too? Yes. Okay. And so... Then and then, they, but they have to go through this little hole, right? The wires have to go through the hole first or else you're going to be all backwards. And oh, forward. well, we don't want so that. So this is the book yeah, we have mm -hmm. with directions. So he's on around this part right oh, here, stripping okay. the wires. Okay. So about two inches you need to tie a knot, and then we're going to attach them. Oh, so, so what is this book? It's a sea perch construction manual. Oh, okay. It has everything down from where you make the propellers, yeah. um, build the actual sea perch. It has um, how you build the remote. Wow, how long does it take you to do all this? Well, for us, we do it every Thursday, so it takes a few months to do it. Yeah. But we ha get new people every year, so it's not as easy for them. Okay. The, so, which 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 wires go where? Yeah. What, what, it doesn't what matter for the oh. cap, so you just put it on. All right. Have you got right. them paired off the way you want? Like, I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing here? Okay. So I'll do the first one. Okay. So. Should we have done that before I took the insulation off? No, it's fine. No. Okay. So these. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I I wondered how you were going to get those wires through that little hole. She had to make yeah. a bigger hole. <laughs> So this is the harder part, I So feel. this is your third year doing this, huh? Yes. And you really like it? Yeah. 
So we're just trying to put these through real quick. Uh, other than the obvious science and technology uh, STEM skills so that the one. kids learn, they well, also a practice right a lot here. of soft skills. Even more important is the process than the product. Soft skills. Soft skills. They learn how to cooperate with one another. They're problem solving, thinking on their feet, critical thinking, ah. under pressure. This, Rose didn't mention, this is their third year going to nationals. Wow, right. so they've been to Louisiana and Massachusetts, which is a really big accomplishment for Somerset County. Oh my so goodness. So it takes me a long time to do this. So why don't you guys go and put one in the water and show Jimmy oh, can we how. Put one in the water? Yeah. Can we do that? Go That's ahead and do that part. and we'll work on this over here. Are we putting this in? Okay, so. Okay, so point out what, let me, let me look at this before you put it in the water first. So you've got a motor here, right? And can we, I don't know if we can get a shot of that or not. Turn that around so we can see the two motors in the back. And then everything else just makes it float, right? Sort of, kind of, ish. <laughs> okay, so what do we do with it now? So the solid Goes color the is going on the colored okay. motor, which is this one. So you were doing it right, yeah. So yeah, you were doing it right. Okay. So tie this on All right, quick. so you just plugged into what I'm guessing is the controller for the motors. Yeah. Okay, so then, all right. Okay, so take your solid one or the stripe, we'll start with the stripe. All right, so now what are you gonna, just straighten show it me, out. what are we doing here? Blue and green, and what's that You're gonna put mean? it on oh. the non-colored one. This is forward, and this would be backward. Okay. And then that would be up. Yeah, you're just gonna bend it, Okay, so it what around. she's showing me, all right, let me, show, let me show you the controls here real quick. I don't know what which camera to, to, to get this for. We've got two switches on here, blue and green. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, and I broke myself. <laughs> Scary. Is it controls the motors that you saw on there um, that make it? And, and uh, uh, come here, come here. Sure, just sure. Explain to me again what's going on here. Okay. So, well, the the students work all year long, every other Thursday, and they um, actually solder and build the breadboards right. to these um, controllers. Um, you have it's just like a remote control car. Yeah. Up, down, left, right, and then that controls the uh, ROV through the water. Um, what they're looking for is neutral buoyancy so that they can navigate at the seafloor, right. in the middle of the water column, and at the surface. And uh -huh. when they compete, there are different trials during the competition where they do different things or different um, tests on different parts of the water. So right. there are some things that they have to do at the bottom of the of water column, in the yeah. middle of the water column, and at the top. You guys are absolutely amazing. Actually, wow. I'm going to brag on these guys. They couldn't have scored any higher at um, the Sea Perch Regional at the Naval Academy in Annapolis this year. They, Is that right? they scored the maximum number of points with time to share. Well, we well, want to wish them the very best of luck in Georgia. Thank you, Thank you Thank so you. much for coming in and showing us all of this. And if you would like to read more about the Sea Perch competition and these students from Somerset Intermediate, job, go to our website, domartolife.com. Can I play with that some more later? I'm sure you can.